Today in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you by far the easiest way to do the eye mask transition. And it's all made possible by our friends over at Envato Elements. So really quick, we're gonna go download our footage from Envato Elements. So here I am on the Envato Elements website. I'm just gonna type in eye. And in here we can see there's stock photos, there's stock videos, there's graphics, all sorts of stuff that we can scan through. The one that I want in particular is from stock videos. In here, you're gonna see we have over 60,000 different shots of eyes that we can choose from. The one I like is on page two and it's got this really nice color to it. So to download it, I'll just click this download button and just call this eye mask tutorial. And then we can create that as a project and push add and download. We could also download this beautiful shot of this aerial lake. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And that's something that's really great about Envato Elements is that you have unlimited downloads to their massive library of over 57 million assets. That includes music, video, photos, templates for Final Cut Pro that I use all of the time. Now, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, there is a seven day free trial. So you can go ahead and sign up, check out Envato Elements, download these exact clips so you can do exactly what I'm doing in the video. So here we are in Final Cut Pro and I've got the two shots that I want to use from our lovely sponsor Envato Elements. I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag this aerial top view onto the timeline and then I'm going to put that eye above that view. With this eye layer selected, I'm going to find where I want this clip to end and push option right bracket to trim it down. Now that we've done that, we need to find the exact moment where we want the camera to start zooming in. So that moment somewhere in here and I'll just push command B to cut it. Now that we've done that, we can go on over into our effects browser and we are going to look up the shape mask. And if you're interested, I actually created a tutorial on creating a trackable shape mask that you can watch after you finish this video. Now that we have our shape mask, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that onto our video. Let's go ahead and invert this mask and drag the curvature all the way up. Now I'm just gonna shrink this mask down to the size of that pupil. And just so I can see things, I'm actually gonna drag our fill opacity down to zero. Let's go to the transform tools and I'm gonna go ahead and add a keyframe on the position and on the scale. After that, we'll push forward on the arrow keys to move forward some frames and then we'll click and drag to adjust our shape mask. And what's great is Final Cut Pro is going to automatically go ahead and add in keyframes for us. So we'll move forward a couple more keyframes and just get this to be sitting right on the eye. With our mask in place, we can now do the zoom animation. Over here on the left side of our viewer, we can see there is these tools. We'll click this down arrow and select the crop tool. You can also achieve that with shift C. Now that we've done that, you'll see these three options, trim crop and Ken Burns. Go ahead and select Ken Burns. In here, you'll see that there is a green window and a red window. The green is where the camera is going to start. The red is where the camera is going to end. Now, if your red window is larger than your green window, you can actually come to the top left and click these arrows and that will reverse the order. But we wanna go ahead and leave the red as the small window for now. After that, we'll just find a corner here and shrink this way, way down until it will fit inside of the eye, something like that. And then we're just going to place this directly into the eye as best we can. Now, if it happens to be locking onto these grids, you can push command and that will get rid of that. And now we should be good to go. We'll go ahead and go to the top right and push done. So what this has done is it has animated the camera over the duration of our clip here. So the momentum is feeling really good. Let's go ahead and animate the shape mask to reveal the background layer. Going into our shape mask settings, we'll find our fill opacity and we'll find the exact moment we want to start revealing the background somewhere in here. We'll click to add a keyframe, then we'll move forward until we want the eye to be completely gone, somewhere in there, and then we'll drag the fill opacity all the way up to 100%. So now if we push play, the background will be revealed. Now, this is already looking pretty good, but there are a few things that are going to polish this to make it look that much better. With our eye selected, let's go ahead and add some Gaussian blur because you'll notice that as we zoom way in, the eye is still perfectly in focus if I disable the Gaussian blur, which is not how real life would work. If we got a camera up that close to your eye, it would go completely out of focus. So what we'll do is find the moment where we want the eye to start going out of focus somewhere in here. We'll go into our amount slider under the Gaussian blur. We'll click to add a keyframe 
and then we'll move forward to the end of the animation and then we'll just drag that all the way up. So now as the eye gets closer, it should go out of focus. And that's looking pretty good, but you'll notice a problem. On the edges here, because of the Gaussian blur, you can still see a little bit of the eye. So that's a very easy fix. We'll just go back a couple frames and find our opacity slider. We'll click to add a keyframe and then go to the end and drag that down to zero. Now, something you'll notice is that as we zoom in, the momentum is not carried into the next shot. And that is because the second shot is actually zooming out. And it's really important to remember that your camera needs to maintain its momentum to make an edit feel really good. So to fix that, let's go ahead and just reverse this clip. Selecting our trees, I'm going to find our retiming editor, click this down arrow and select reverse clip. Now that we've done that, everything should be feeling a little bit better. And one last thing we can do to carry this one momentum through is actually blur out the background because we want the camera to feel like it's pulling focus from the eye onto the background. So at first that background would be out of focus. So we'll go ahead, add a Gaussian blur and we'll find the moment somewhere in here add a keyframe, then we'll move forward to the end of the animation and drag that down to zero. So if we push play, you'll see that we have this nice, really organic feeling zoom pushing through the eye. If you wanted to reverse this, it's very simple. We'll go ahead and select our eye layers. We'll right click, select new compound clip, push OK, we'll push Option, click and drag this over to where we want the eye animation to end. Then with the compound clip selected, we'll click this down arrow and select Reverse Clip. So now we can actually zoom out of this scene back into the eye, just like so. So that is how you can do an eye mask transition. If it was helpful, consider pressing that like button. Also, do not forget about Envato Elements. There's a seven day free trial down below. That being said, I cannot wait to see you in the next one.